Hey, this is Brother Jeff, and I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the new Storyline Layouts. If you navigate to the layout section and go down to Storyline Layouts, that's where you can see all the different Storyline Layouts that we have with the Learning Brothers. And um, once you click on one of those layouts, it'll give you a preview of how the layout looks and how you can lay out different content and everything like that. And then you can download it. And all you have to do is double click on it. Once you double click on it, it then becomes part of your templates. And so if you're at any point of your course, you can just right click and go to a new slide. Select from the drop down box the storyline layouts and then select the which layout you want. And what happens is it separates them into different categories. So you can see different titles, different single panels as well. If I um, scroll down here, I got dual panels. Let me go back to that real quick. If I scroll down, I got dual panels. I also got three or four panels. So there's a lot of different layouts that I can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these layouts and then click import. Now, what happens is it inserts that layout inside of my course. And so now, I, let me just delete that first page. Now I have this page. And now I can come in here and just start replacing the text. If I don't want to use that text, I can just delete it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and replace some of this text. And then I can just start putting in some content here. Now, it doesn't just have to be text. You can start inserting some images. You can start in inserting some shapes. Let me go ahead and just insert a shape here um, and use this layout to kind of position my content. Now, once I'm ready to add a new page, I'm just going to go ahead and right click, add a new page. And I'm going to have a different layout here. So let's go ahead and select this banner one. And now you can see that I do the same thing here. Now, if I were to expand my uh, timeline, you'll notice that the only thing that's really within my timeline is different boxes, different content boxes, uh, really text boxes. Again, you can insert images, buttons, whatever you wanted to at this point. But let's say I wanted to change like this blue banner. Well, the question is, how do I do that? And so there's a couple different ways you can do that. With the slide that you have or that you want to edit selected, you can come up to go to View, the, the View tab, and then go to Slide Master. <clears throat> now, the Slide Master is the content where all the shapes and the colors and different things for this layout is. So you'll notice that it takes me to the page that I was actually on. So now I can just move some of the text. Uh, off to the side and if I select this object you'll notice it's a rectangle. I can come up to format, go into my shapes and then I can start changing the fill, the gradient stops to whatever color I want. So let's go ahead and select a color randomly here and go to stop number two and I'm going to select another co color randomly and then hit close. So you notice now I have a blue or a different uh, brown gradient that I can use and if I come back into uh, my view and actually slide master tab hit close slide master what happens is it's now changed that banner for this slide master so any slide that's using this slide if I had multiple ones for example uh, let me import it you'll notice that anytime I now because I changed the slide master anytime I use that slide layout it's going to now have that color. Now, if I don't want that to happen, then I can um, not apply or I can apply a different layout there and, um, and then just bring in the graphics from that slide master into this single style. Um, but if you come into the slide master as well, so I'm just gonna, with that slide selected, go into view and then go into slide master. You'll notice if I come to the first slide that I have a couple different options as well. So you can see, uh, in the in the back here, I have this rectangle. Now the rectangle has kind of a pattern or a shape there. And this is uh, an image that's brought in that you can format and you can change. Actually, no, it's a, sorry, yeah, the fill is a texture. And so the texture was brought in um, and changed a little bit. Transparency set at 96%. Um, and so you can modify that, but then you can also modify this other square. Now this other square is the gradient color that's in the background. Now because I'm on slide one, anything I do to the background is actually going to cascade into all of the other slides. So the color and the background and everything that's using the slide master is going to show or is going to have this effect. And so if I wanted to change the color of the background, 
let's go ahead and change this to red for example and I'm going to align this back to the stage so I'm going to align that to center and I'm going to align it to the middle as well and then I'm going to do the same thing with the texture so align to center and align to middle so I have it directly in the middle and again you'll notice that all of these different slide masters have now been updated so if I was to go back to the slide master hit close master slide um, and come back into any other slide you'll notice that the background has now changed um, because it's using the slide master on that one slide whatever background I change to all of these will change it to all of the slides that are using that slide master which is all the ones that I have here so that's how you can go in you can start inserting some new layouts you can change the background color and pattern then you can change and modify different uh, slide layouts to fit uh, your needs and it gives you a good starting point and then you can just go in and modify it from there.